29-year-old Sean Nestor, who ran unsuccessfully for city council in 2013, says the late Jack Ford is his inspiration. Well, Jack Ford was a supporter of mine, and I looked up to him greatly. He offered me a lot of support. Um, last year, he told me he would endorse me to be his replacement on city council if here to win the state senate seat that he was running for. So I decided that when he passed, I would try to honor his legacy by applying for city council and trying to live up to the standards he set. Most of the people vying for the position are political novices. Christopher Nee is a former teacher and principal. The biggest reason why I uh, would like to be on board right now is it's a prime opportunity for the council to earn the respect of the city again, um, to get out of the political arena and really look for the voices of the people that they haven't heard. Sir Sandra McPherson has worked for TPS for more than a quarter century. I asked her why she was qualified to be appointed. Servanthood. I'm willing to serve. I'm willing to listen, learn, and support the wishes of my community. I am community oriented. I'm born and raised here in the city of Toledo. Michael Konwinski ran for mayor of Toledo in 2013 and lost. He says he will be able to use his financial expertise to help the city spend less taxpayer dollars. And I think really the people want, you know, good roads reliable services and things like that and we just have to find the money and eliminate waste so we can provide that. The only person seeking the vacant seat who has won an election before is the current president of Toledo Public Schools, Dr. Cecilia Adams. I think that the, the millennials and the high school students that are graduating, they're looking for jobs that um, they can go into and a reason to stay in Toledo and so I think I can be that bridge.